Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use silk.co to create data visualizations. It's a great little tool, makes it really easy to turn data sets into all kinds of graphs and charts. Let's go ahead and sign in. Now I'm here in my silk.co dashboard, and you can see here I have a page and a collection of things I've been working on. Here are the data cards for the data set that I've been working on. Let's go ahead and start a brand new project here. So you can see I was in my sports data dashboard. I'm now going to go to create new silk. And we'll call this one the sample data set. Now let's go ahead and look for some data to use. If you have a spreadsheet of data, you can upload it or you can pull it in from Google Drive or you can use some of the sample data. And you can see here we have all kinds of uh, different options. Let's go with highest paid athletes. It's one that a lot of students can relate to. And you can see we can rank these by sport if we wanted to. We can rank them by athlete, we can rank them by all kinds of various pieces of information. Let's just go ahead and start the imp import. Alright, so the data is now imported into my dashboard for this sample data set that I'm working on. And in this case, the default was a grid format, but we can go into a list format for our data visualization. And that's going to be a huge list because we have large pictures here. That's not going to be great for a large set of data. But again, you can go ahead and sort it out differently according to any uh, piece of information you want to sort by there. We can go and say mosaic groups, map, scatter plot, bar graph, columns. Let's do columns here. And here we can say instead of endorsements, we might say salary and winnings. If you want to rank people according to correlation of height and earnings, we could do that. There we go. Now let's go ahead and publish this. And you can publish it to your home page or you can publish it to a new page altogether. Let's publish it to the home page. And we can go ahead and grab the embed code if we want to embed this into a blog post or a wiki page. We can certainly do that. We can tweet it out. We can just grab the shortened link for it and share it that way. And that's our Short, that's our link there, sampledataset.co.uk. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sampledataset.silk.co. And anyone visiting that, because this one is public, anyone can see it. Uh, if we want to go in and invite people to work on this together, we can add them by email and say allow editing. And we can share the, if we decide to add more data to it later, we could share the entire set or the entire silk. So that's a short overview of how you can use silk to create data visualizations. And for more tips and tricks like this, check out freetechforteachers.com.